So there's been a lot of talk, and we've talked a lot about this whole idea of prison abuse and jail abuse in private prisons. I've talked about a lot on the show. Here's one, another one of those stories. America's prisons and jails house about 2 million Americans. 2 million Americans. And I want to talk particularly about a, a prison in Alabama, the Julia Tallweller prison last week um, on January 17th. The Department of Justice sent a letter to the governor of Alabama declaring the conditions observed at the prison during a four-day investigation last April to be utterly and totally unconstitutional. The federal investigation was prompted by an Alabama NGO who found rampant occurrences of rape, sexual assault, intimidation, humiliation, and voyeurism in the woman's prison. The prison houses 150, 154 women. And everything from strip searches at random to staff regularly raping, sodomizing, and fondling women, from men, male guards watching women as they take showers, all are taking place at this prison. The Justice Department sent a 36-page letter declaring that if the state does not take immediate action to address the failures to protect the women at the prison, the Attorney General would have to pursue legal recourse. This is crazy, folks. This is crazy. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. If you do a crime, you serve the time. But are you telling me in, in this country that it's okay for women who are in prison to be fondled, abused, and raped, and have no ability to report that, no ability to control that? Because you know what? Those guards are committing crimes. Let's be very clear. So those guards are just as guilty as the women in that prison. And if those women have to serve the time... So should the guards. This is really just help. Like this is just abuse of the least of these, right? Totally get it. They've committed a crime. Totally get that point. Not denying the facts here, but they don't deserve to be raped. They deserve to serve their prison sentence. Five years, ten years, fifteen years, solitary confinement. That's all fine and that's all good. And that's all dandy. But to be raped and abused by the prison guards, America, wrong. And I hope that this prison gets their act together. And this isn't the first time. In two thousand and seven. The Justice Department Bureau of Justice found that, that the women experienced a high rate of sexual assault and the highest rate of sexual assault in the nation happened at this prison in Alabama. We need to do better, folks. We need to do better. There, we can have a total another conversation about the school to prison pipeline and why those women are there and why they shouldn't be there and why should we, we should have salt prevent, like my mom always says, prevention is better than cure. But before we get to that point, let's have a conversation about the women that are already there, who are already in that place. Why are they being abused? Why are they being assaulted, and why are why is the state of Alabama not doing anything about it? It's a crying shame, an absolute, utter crying shame and travesty, um, that these women are being abused. I gotta tell you, it just it, it it's just a, it's it's a horrible thing. Listen, folks, before we get out of here, do me a favor. If you're listening to this on the radio, go to our go to our YouTube website www.youtube.com/fowlershow and hit that subscribe button. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below.